वेलकम टू साइंस स्टोर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस Yes, dear students, welcome back to Biology Online Classes. Uh, the sheet in each chapter, what we are doing is about animal kingdom. Uh, the animal kingdom is divided into four classes. Uh, first, 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 first,
Faisalia it is called as uh, Portuguese man of war and Mindrina it is called as brain coral all these are silentrates okay but in silentrates only few species shows alternation of generation so nidaria exhibits in both the forms one is cylindrical that is called as polyform another one is uh, umbrella like forms that is called as medusa so poly produce asexually medusa and medusa forms sexually the polyp so these two phases are alternating in their life cycle so that is called as alternation of generation or metagenesis and it is shown by obelia as well as physelia so they belongs to class hydrozo hydrozoa obelia as well as physelia they shows metagenesis or alternation of generation and they belongs to class hydrozoa hydra means water zoa means animal next coming to question number 15 which of the following is not a characteristic feature of nidarians they exhibit tissue level of organization they may be aquatic or terrestrial first one is correct they are aquatic or terrestrial no terrestrial forms are found only they are aquatic living in water bodies so two is not the characteristic feature of nidarians see the option 3 they may be sessile or free swimming yes the polyp forms are attached to the substratum so they are sessile forms whereas the medusa forms they are umbrella like they can freely swim in the water body they can freely move fourth option nidarians and echinodermans uh, sorry fourth option is they are diploblastic animals yes the embryo is having two derm layers outer ectoderm and inner endoderm and the mesodermal layer is uh, altogether absent let's move to the next question students that is question number 16 cum jellies are dash and jellyfish are dash respectively what are cum jellies cum jellies belongs to tinophora the phylum tinophores and uh, jellyfishes are what they belongs to phylum nidaria they are nidarians so the right, right option is option 3 that is tinophores and nidarians next so these cum jellies they belongs to tinophora they bear eight median comb plates which helps for locomotion in them okay coming to question number 17 the ciliated comb plates in pleurobrachia are meant for just now i told yes option 4 for locomotion question number 18 <coughs> tinoplana belongs to a group of animals which are best described as tinoplana belongs to dash multicellular with radially symmetrical body unicellular with the tissue level of organization multicellular with organ level of organization or unicellular with bilateral symmetrical bodies what is the right answer tinoplana they are not unicellular they are multicellular belongs to tinophora and the body is radially symmetrical so which option is the correct option 2 Question number 19 bioluminescence is well marked in which of the following phyla now the bioluminescence on the property there the living organisms have the ability to emit the light property to emit the light so these uh, organisms they have light producing cells and 
these uh, light producing cells are called as photocytes what are the light producing cells the light producing cells are called as photocytes okay so tinophora they show the property of bioluminescence it's not mollusca neither hemicordata or nor annelida uh, question number 20 which specialized cells are present for excretion in the phylum platyhelminthes platforms only now the specialized cells for excretion one collar cells also called as conocytes two nidoblasts three flame cells four nematocytes platyhelminthes only excretion help madudu yavudu those are the flame cells why they are called as flame cells because they they excrete the nitrogenous waste uh, which uh, appears like a flicker flickers of flame so that is why they are called as flame cells and these flame cells also helps to maintain the water and uh, salt balance that is osmo regulation so the flame cells are also called as protonephridia what is another name for flame cells they are also called as protonephridia they are evolved before the nephridia nephridia you can see in case of annelida isn't it so these are formed before proto before the nephridia those are the flame cells now what are collar cells conocytes they are having the lining of spongocele in sponges as well as they also have lining of canals and uh, they mainly helps for when they beat they contains of cilia flagella flagella isn't it when this flagella beat they will bring the water current into the body of the sponges along with that they bring the food food particles then uh, nidoblasts are helps for defense mechanism in ciliaterates nematocytes are nothing but the capsules which are having poison that is also in ciliaterates so the right option is option 3 question number 21 high regeneration capacity is uh, possessed by yav organism like high regeneration andre yav the body part an cut madidre it will regrow okay so that is seen in a aurelia b ferritima b bombyx for planaria as yes, you know this planaria has got a high generation regeneration capacity so these have the ability to or the organisms have the ability to replace uh, its lost or damaged body parts and they have the ability to develop a complete and a normal individual from the part of the body for example planaria yes they have the high regeneration power so what is the scientific name of this planaria digesia planaria other scientific name is digesia note down question number 20 no, okay aurelia is a jellyfish belongs to ciliaterata ferritima is the earthworm belongs to annelida then bombyx is the silk moth belongs to class insecta phylum arthropoda question number 22 the ascalaminthes are commonly called round worms why options are they have a round body their body is circular in cross section yes the body is circular in cross section the body is uh, elongated and cylindrical and uh, tapering at the ends correct so in cross section the body is uh, round and circular 
because of this body form these animals are commonly called as round worms so the right answer is option 2 question number 23 all of the following are monoecious except monoecious means they are hermaphrodite or bisexuals both the sex organs are present in a same animal one fasciola it's it is monoecious two spongilla it is also monoecious three ascaris here the sexes are separate the male ascaris is different from the female ascaris they show sexual dimorphism females are usually longer when compared to the males Tinoplana, yes, both the sexes are present in the same individual. So, the right answer is option three. Fasciola belongs to platyal minthus, spongilla belongs to sponges, and Tinoplana belongs to Tinophora. Got my point? Okay. Question number twenty-four. Hookworm is the common name of hookworm. Yeah, what is it called? One Ucharia, no. Ucharia is the scientific name of filarial worm, which causes filariasis or elephantiasis, ane kalroga. Hookworm is the common name of ancyclostoma, Anclo ancyclostoma duodenal, ancyclostoma duodenal. इधर सैंटिफिक नेम इज सैंटिफिक नेम आफ वाट इज सैंटिफि नेम आफ द हुक् वर्म नेक्स्ट टीनिया टीनिया सोलियम इट इज द पोर्क टेप वर्म दिस आल वी हेव स्टडीड इन थियरी फैसियोला हेपैटिक इट इज द लिवर फ्लूक नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव Mesoderm is present as scattered pouches in between the ectoderm and endoderm in yaudra li mesoderm ide like a scattered pouches where anilida no anilida dali proper mesoderm ide echinoderm sali proper mesoderm ide okay because uh, these are all coelomates mollusca kuda coelomates but ascalimentus they are pseudocoelomates they are, have false coelom so body cavity is present but it is not completely lined by the mesoderm so the mesoderm is only present as a scattered pouches between the ectoderm and endoderm we'll move to the next question question number 26 in ascalimentus the excretory tube removes the body waste from the body cavity through andre ascalimentus nalli round worms alli there is an excreted tube ide which removes the body waste ellin from the body cavity and the horage aagutade through what through excretory pore that is the option 1 right answer two is the malphagian tubules so you can not, not see as in malphagian tubules in ascalimentus but uh, you can see the malphagian tubules in arthropods cockroaches the structures which are present within between the junction of the mid gut and the hind gut which are thin and tubular structures thread like having appearance then uh, there are 100 to 150 in number and appears yellow in color flame cells are the excretory organs in platy elementus diffusion from body surface generally you observe in case of uh, yes earthworms which are annelidans Got my point. Next question number twenty-seven. Okay, so the excretory tube is present in the ascalimentus, which removes the body waste through the excretory pore. This excretory tube collects the body waste from where? From the body cavity and removes it through the excretory pore. Question number twenty-seven. The only phylum bearing pseudocoelom is. Ya adu vandu phylum ali. सीडो सीलोम फॉल्स सीलोम ओके वन अनिडा टू वरीफेरा थ्री आस्कलीमिंथ 
ಫೋರ್ ಪ್ಲಾಟಿ ಹೆಲ್ಮೆಂಥಸ್ ನಾಲ್ಕರಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವುದರಲ್ಲಿ ಸಿಡೋಸಿಲೋಮ್ ಇದೆ ಅನ್ಲಿಡದಲ್ಲಿ ಇರೋದು ಟ್ರೂ ಸಿಲೋಮ್ ಪೊರಿಫೇರಾದಲ್ಲಿ ಸಿಲೋಮ ಇಲ್ಲ ಆಸ್ಕಿಲಮಿಂಥಸ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಇರೋದು ದ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ ಸಿಲೋಮ್ ಆರ್ ಸಿಡೋಸಿಲೋಮ್ ಪ್ಲಾಟಿ ಹೆಲ್ಮಿಂಥಸ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಕೂಡ ಪ್ಲಾಟಿ ಹೆಲ್ಮಿಂಥಸ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಏ ಸಿಲೋಮೆಟ್ಸ್ ಸಿಲೋಮ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟಂಡ್ ಸೊ ದ ರೈಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ತ್ರೀ ಫಾರ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಏಯ್ಟ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ಯಾರಿಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫಾಲೋವಿಂಗ್ ಫೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ಯಾರಿಸ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಫೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಆದರೆ ಒಂದಿಲ್ಲ ಯಾವುದು ಅದು ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಡೈಜೆಸ್ಟಿವ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಇಂಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ಫರ್ಟಿಲೈಸೇಷನ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಾಸೈಟಿಕ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಸೊ ಆಸ್ಕ್ಯಾರಿಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ಫೈಲಮ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ಯಲಮಿಂಥಸ್ ಸೊ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಡೈಜೆಸ್ಟಿವ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಟೂ ಓಪನಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಮೌತ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇಂಜೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎನ್ ಎಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅಜೆಷನ್ ಸೊ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದೆರ್ ಆರ್ ಲಾರ್ವಲ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ವಾ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ಯಾರಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ರ್ಯಾಮ್ಡಿಟಾಯ್ಡ್ ರ್ಯಾಮ್ಡಿಟಾಯ್ಡ್ ನೋಟ್ ಡೌನ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ರ್ಯಾಬ್ ಡಿಟಾಯ್ಡ್ ಆ ದ ರ್ಯಾಮ್ಡಿಟಾಯ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ the rhamditoid is also called as one more name is there for this that is rhamditi form rhamditi form so this is the larva of ascaris no doubt larva of ascaris so it is called as an endoparasite because it is living inside the body of a living host and causes the disease okay and they are mainly inhabiting the intestine of the man and undergoes internal fertilization only not external fertilization so option 3 is the right answer question number 29 metameric segmentation is exhibited by which of the following animal yavudalli metameric segmentation ide one adamsia adamsia sea anemone silentrata adallilla u spongia that is uh, bath sponge that is belongs to phylum porifera adalli kuda illa ascaris is a round worm which belongs to ascalimenthus adalli kuda illa four ferritima is the earthworm which belongs to phylum annelida annelus means ring they have segmented ring like structures and uh, the segmentation is from <coughs> both <coughs> outside external as well as internal <coughs> with uh, some repetitive body units which are called as metameres metameres or somites and the formation of these metameres or somites it is called as metamerization or somatization <coughs> next so ferritima it belongs to class oligochaeta ferritima it is the scientific name of earthworm and this belongs to the class oligochaeta class oligochaeta we will move to question number 30 dash in the earthworm perform the function similar to flame cells in tinea flame cells in tinea else for excretion so a excretion ge sambandha pattanta function annu yavudu maartade in earthworm alli parapodia parapodia helps for locomotion in case of nearies nearies also belongs to annelida nearies belongs to annelida okay nephridia nephridia yes these are the excretory tubes which are segmentally arranged in case of earthworms earthworms belongs to annelida three metameres no metameres are the repeated units only ganglia ganglia is a mass of nerve cells so the right option is option 2 so highly coiled tubular structures which are present in the earthworm they are called as the nephridia which will open to outside by 
nephridio pores. Question number 31. Notochord in earthworm is dash and nerve cord is dash. Notochord earthworm is illa because it is non chordate So notochord is absent. And nerve cord is dorsal or ventral. In case of invertebrates, there is a double ventral nerve cord. So nerve cord is ventral and double. The right option is the option 2. So what is a notochord students? Notochord is a supporting structure. So it is a part of the internal skeleton which is found in the chordates. And nerve cord it is the part of nervous system. And this is mesodermal in origin. And this nerve cord is a part of the nervous system is present in both chordates as well as non chordates. So notochord is formed on the dorsal side in the chordates while the notochord, nerve cord is ventral in non chordates. So notochord is formed on the dorsal side in chordate and nerve cord is ventral in non chordates and dorsal in chordates. Nerve cord is dorsal in chordates and it is ventral in non chordates. So earthworm belongs to the phylum Annelida, which is a non chordate. So earthworm does not have notochord and nerve cord is ventral in position. Move to question number 32. The body segments in earthworms are called A. One comb plates, two spicules, three metamias, four ganglia. So earthworms having a repeated body segments, metamerically segmented body, where body is externally and internally divided into the segments. So these segments are called as metamers or somites. Option, right option is option 3 my dear students. Comb plates is the locomotory organs in case of tenophora, tenophores, spicules are the exoskeleton in form in uh, case of uh, sponges belongs to phylum porifera. They are uh, made up of uh, so their exoskeleton is spicules or spongin fibers. So spongioblasts are the cells which secretes uh, spicules. Right? So this also we have studied in our previous classes. So scleroblasts are the cells which secretes uh, spicules, spongioblasts which are the secretes which sec uh, Spongin fibers, which are nothing but the proteins. Then metamers, metamers are nothing but the segments. Uh, mollus metamers, metamers are nothing but the segments. Ganglia means mass of nerve cells. We will move to question number 33. The chitinous exoskeleton is possessed by. Yaw the exoskeleton is made up of chitin. 1 annelida, 2 arthropoda, 3 mollusca, 4 echinoderms. Yaw the Arthropoda the Isoskeleton is made up of chitin. Chitin is a type of carbohydrate. It is made up of polysaccharide units. So they have exoskeleton of chitin and it is reinforced with protein or calcium carbonate. So presence of chitin as an exoskeleton favors the survival of the arthropod in, in different conditions when they are exposed to different environmental conditions and support their universal occurrence. Uh, you, know, you see that arthropods, they are found in uh, almost all the habitats everywhere. Why this is possible? Because of the presence of the exoskeleton chitin, it protects the body from extreme advanced environmental conditions or adverse uh, atmospheric conditions. That is why arthropods can survive wide variety of habitats because of the presence of exoskeleton very important question remember so arthropod possess exoskeleton of chitin and which is reinforced with the protein or calcium carbonate so they have protein as well as calcium carbonate uh, and they have 
polymer of polysaccharides along with that they have proteins and uh, uh, calcium carbonate we will move to question number 34 which function is served by the tracheal system in insects trachea yavudakke irudu insects illa nan helidene cockroach insects they have belong which belongs to class insects insecta they have trachea or wind pipe for respiration for the taking in of oxygen and giving carbon dioxide respiratory gases exchange manlike they are not for sensation therefore respiration so the right option is the option 2 dear my my dear students to this particular questions both 1 and 2 cannot be and digestion is not the right answer so crustaceans they have green glands okay then uh, cockroaches they have malpighian tubules these are all for excretion but for respiration they have tracheal system so various uh, in various groups of arthropods uh, they having a various uh, different respiratory parts for example uh, in arachnids like spiders and scorpions uh, they have book lungs but in case of if you take horseshoe shaped crab they have book gills in prawns and all they have gills for respiration but in land insects like cockroaches they have trachea for respiration so various types of respiratory structures are present in different groups of arthropods we will move to question number 35 honey is the commercial product of which of the following animal honey yavudrinda bandide jeentappa honey bee alwa honey bee means scientific name is apis so the right answer is option 3 bombyx is the silk worm laxifer lacca it is a lac insect araganu koduvanta ondu hula agide and fourth one is the aedes aedes aegypti which causes chicken gunya and dengue okay <coughs> so honey is used <coughs> as a source of food as well as uh, <coughs> it is used in uh, medicine also okay the question number 36 the statement which does not stand true for the arthropodes arthropoda ke yava kolagina statement to hidisuta illa which is not fitting one they have an open circulatory system yes they do have open circulatory system that is the correct one their body is divided into head, thorax and abdomen, that is also correct. They are segmented and silomate animals, that is also correct. Fertilization is usually external in them, that is wrong, because the fertilization is uh, internal in them. Got it? So, the fourth option does not hold good for the arthropods. Question number 37, the phylum arthropoda is named so because of presence of jointed appendage appendages option one is correct because arthros means uh, jointed and poda means uh, appendages option two is segmentation which is not uh, because of that uh, they got the name segmentation is also seen in the previous uh, phylum of arthropoda that is anilida they are called as segmented worms chitinous exoskeleton also not which gives the name arthropoda organ system of level of organization is also not the correct answer we will move to question number 38 students statosis are the what are statosis they helps for maintaining the balance in arthropods statosis which are present at the base of the antennae so these are nothing but the sense organs so which are meant for making the sense of balance in case of arthropods so lateral locomotory appendages in annelids they are citae suckers present in parasitic platyhelminthes like in case of uh, say uh, tapeworm in case of uh, say liver fluke they all have suckers to take or to suck the blood which is their ready made food then stinging capsules in nidarians yeah that helps for defense uh, 
as well as for anchorage and to gathering the food particles as well as for locomotion question number 39 match the column 1 with the column 2 in column 1 the vector of disease which is the vector of disease compared with the column 2 culex mosquito allo here the vector of the filarial worm which causes filariasis so filarian worm antu carry madudu yadu culex enuvantaha ondu female mosquito so culex is the female mosquito which acts like a vector and which carry the filarial worm a gregarious pest locusta locusta is a gregarious pest so they live in group they are the social animals that's why they are called as gregarious but to not help each other although they live in a group they will not help each other okay then a living fossil is the limulus it is a king crab okay then an economically important insect is the bombyx that is the silk insect silk producing insect silk moth which produces the silk that is bombyx so which is the right option see answer 4 is the right answer because vector of disease a is for 4 directly will get the answer so such type of easy questions match the column type of questions were asked in the neat 2020 it was very easy paper okay so such type of questions will not take much time in a fraction of second you can answer because the first option itself is the correct but it's also such see the other options are also correct okay next uh, question number 40 body of mollusk is one unsegmented two covered by a calcareous shell three divided into distinct head muscular foot and visceral hump or four all of this body of mollusk is unsegmented correct covered by a calcareous shell that is also correct and it is uh, body is divided into three distinct part one is uh, head another one is uh, visceral mass another one is the foot right muscular foot visceral hump and the muscular foot head visceral hump and the muscular foot so mollus have unsegmented body and covered by protective covering that is called as shell and this shell is made up of chemical calcium carbonate shell is made up of calcium carbonate so body of mollus is normally divided into head then uh, visceral mass as well as muscular foot okay coming to question number 41 which of the following structures help in excretion and respiration in mollusk excretion ge matha respiration ge yavudu help maartade anta one nephridia two feather like gills three flame cells four tentacles yavudu they have feather like gills correct so the mantle cavity of the mollusk encloses the feather like gills which helps for respiration as well as for excretion which serves dual purpose helps for respiration as well as for excretion then so the right option is option 2 question number 42 precious part pearls are obtained from which of the following animals you know pearl havala so they obtained from which animal pintada pintada vulgaris that is scientific name it is called as commonly pearl oyster pearl oyster is the scientific name you know ping tada ping tada vulgaris ping tada vulgaris right so from which you will get the pearl so it is a type of bivalvia andre bivalvia not made by will we are having two shells or uh, shell alagade avala produce aagutade so belongs to phylum mollusk and uh, this animal is very famous for pearl formation okay so commonly called as pearl oyster so 43 radiolize meant for sensation feeding egg laying or protection from predators 
ಯಾವುದರಲ್ಲಿ ಬರೋದು ರೆಡ್ಯುಲಾ ಫೈಲಮ್ ಮೊಲಸ್ಕಾದಲ್ಲಿ ಬರೋದು ಸೊ ಸೊ ರೆಡ್ಯುಲಾ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ರಾಸ್ಪಿಂಗ್ ಫೈಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಹೆಲ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫುಡ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೊ ಮೊಲಸ್ ದ ಮೌತ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೊಲಸ್ ದ ಕಂಟೇನ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೈಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ರಾಸ್ಪಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ಗನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ಸ್ ರೋ ಆಫ್ ಕೈಟಿನಸ್ ಟೀತ್ ದೆ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ಸ್ ರೋ ಆಫ್ ಕೈಟಿನಸ್ ಟೀತ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ರ್ಯಾಡ್ಯುಲಾ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ಸ್ ರೋಸ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ಸ್ ರೋಸ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ಸ್ ರೋ ಆಫ್ ಕೈಟಿನಸ್ ಟೀತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ರ್ಯಾಡ್ಯುಲಾ ವಾಟ್ ರ್ಯಾಡ್ಯುಲಾ ರ್ಯಾಡ್ಯುಲಾ ಇಸ್ ಹೆಲ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ದೇ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ಸ್ ರೋಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೈಟಿನಸ್ ಟೀತ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ರ್ಯಾಡ್ಯುಲಾ ಇನ್ ಫೈಲಮ್ ಮೊಲಸ್ಕ ಸೊ ರೈಟ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಟು ಕ್ವಶನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಫೋರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫಾಲೋವಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ಎ ಕ್ಯಾನಿಡಾನ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿ ಲಿಲ್ಲಿ ಟೂ ಸಿ ಕೊಕುಂಬರ್ ಸಿ ತ್ರೀ ತ್ರೀ ಸಿ ಹೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಸಿ ಅರ್ಚಿನ್ ಯಾವುದು ಎ ಕೆನಾಡಾನ್ಸ್ ಸಿ ಹೇರ್ ಸಿ ಹೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈಸಿಯಾ ಅಪ್ಲೈಸಿಯಾ ಈಸ್ ದ ಸೈಂಟಿಫಿಕ್ ನೇಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸಿ ಹೇರ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿಲಾಂಗಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಫೈಲ ಮೊಲಸ್ಕ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ಡ್ಯಾಶ್ ಎ ಕ್ಯಾನೋಡಮ್ಸ್ ಸಿ ಲಿಲ್ಲಿ ಆ್ಯಂಟಿಡಾನ್ ಸಿ ಹೇರ್ ಸಾರಿ ಸಿ ಕುಕುಂಬರ್ ಕುಕುಮೇರಿಯಾ ಸಿ ಆರ್ ಚಿನ್ ಅಕೈನಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಫೋರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ದ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕೇರಿಯಸ್ ಆಸಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅಕೆಡೋನರಮ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ದ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕೇರಿಯಸ್ ಆಸ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಎಕೆನೋಡಮ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ದ ಎ ಒನ್ ಎಕ್ಸೋಸ್ಕೆಲಿಟನ್ ಟೂ ವಿಸರಲ್ ಹಮ್ ತ್ರೀ ನೋಟೋಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಫೋರ್ ಎಂಡೋಸ್ಕೆಲಿಟನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಸ್ಕೇರಿಯ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕೇರಿಯಸ್ ಆಸಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಎಕೆನೋಡಮ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಮಾಡ್ತದೆ ದೇ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ದ ಎಂಡೋಸ್ಕೆಲಿಟನ್ ನಾಟ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸೋಸ್ಕೆಲಿಟನ್ ಹೊರಗಿನ ಸ್ಕೆಲಿಟನ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಒಳಗಿದ್ದು ಸೊ ದೇ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಎಂಡೋಸ್ಕೆಲಿಟನ್ so echinoderms possess an endoskeleton that is the internal skeleton of calcareous ossicles calcareous ossicles means small bones so calcareous ossicles and they know meaning they have small bones small bones so they are embedded in the skin so the endoskeleton is derived from the mesoderm in echinoderms so the endoskeleton endoskeleton is derived from mesoderm in echinoderms in echinoderms got students this will move to next question question number 46 the larval stage in asteriasis a absent b free swimming c bilaterally symmetrical d radially symmetrical one only a two b and c three d and d four only c asteris is a scientific name for starfish which belongs to phylum echinodermata so these echinoderms are free living animals adult echinoderms are radially symmetrical but larva of echinoderms are bilaterally symmetrical i told the larva of the echinoderms are bipinnaria larva so c is the right and they are free swimming b and c correct answer okay so option 2 is the right answer question number 47 the water vascular system in phylum echinodermata help in this also i explain one locomotion capture and transport of food to excretion three respiration for all of this all of this so it is a distinct feature of the echinoderms so they helps for locomotion they helps for capture and the transport of food and they also helps for respiration as well as excretion because well developed excretory organs are absent in case of echinoderms so water vascular system only serves the purpose of excretion in case of echinoderms question number 48 which organ system is lacking in the animals that 
their water vascular system nervous system excretory system circulatory system sensory system just now i told that is option 2 excretory system so the excretory products they diffuse out of the body from the uh, body tissue into the coelomic fluid from where the waste is eliminated out coelomic fluid ge bartade body tissue in the allind the the excretory waste becomes gets uh, eliminated out from the body number 49 cylindrical bodied worm like uh, marine animals belongs to the phylum cylindrical body ide worm like uh, marine animals they belongs to echinodermata mollusca cylindrata hemichordata yes you are correct students the right answer is option 4 hemichordata so these hemichordata have soft and fragile worm like appearance so the body is cylindrical in form in shape and it is divisible into three parts that is proboscis collar and trunk studied you studied balano glasses correct so you imagine that balano glasses okay students yes so let's move to next question then question number 50 the body of hemichordates is divided into yes just now i told proboscis collar and trunk the option 3 is the right option so head muscular foot and visceral hump that is in case of mollusca head thorax and abdomen that is in case of phylum arthropoda proboscis and trunk no it is incorrect it will not hold good for any of the phyla Question number fifty-one: Which of the following fundamental feature is common to balanoglossus, anaphilis, and laxifer without any exception? Now, there are balanoglossus, anaphilis, and laxifer. Laxifer is a lac insect belongs to arthropoda. Anaphilis is a class insect that belongs to arthropoda. Balanoglossus belongs to hemichordata. Now, there are the best suited marine habitat. members of the largest phylum of the animal kingdom or open circulatory system arthropoda matte hemichordata ke open circulatory system irutade mollusca dalli kuda open circulatory system irutade adre cephalopod mollus are exception i told in the previous class correct so the right option is option 3 open circulatory system anophilis marine habitat alli irudilla terrestrial balanoglossus ಮಾತ್ರ ಟೆರೆಸ್ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವುದರಲ್ಲಿ ಮೆರೈನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಬಿಟ್ಯಾಟಲ್ಲಿ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಫರ್ ಕೂಡ ಭೂಮಿಯ ಮೇಲೆ ಇರೋ ಟೆರೆಸ್ಟಿಯಲ್ ಸೊ ಈ ಫೈಲಮ್ ಆರ್ಥ್ರೋಪೋಡ ದೇ ಅದರ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಮಾತ್ರ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ಲಾರ್ಜೆಸ್ಟ್ ಫೈಲಮ್ ಓಕೆ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಅನಾಫಿಲಿಸ್ ಮತ್ತು ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಫರ್ ಆದರೆ ಬೆಲನೋಗ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ಫರ್ಟಿಲೈಸೇಷನ್ ಆಗುವುದು ಯಾವುದರಲ್ಲಿ ಬೆಲನೋಗ್ಲಾಸಸ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಅಲ್ಲ anophilis with the laxifer only all so the right option is option 3 open circulatory system to question number 52 the phylum which was earlier considered as a subphylum under chordata but now placed as a separate phylum in non chordates is one eurochordata to hemichordata three cephalochordata four vertebrata the phylum which was earlier considered as subphylum under chordata but now placed separate phylum is hemi chordata so name hemi chordata literally means what half chordates and acts like a connecting link between uh, chordates and uh, non chordates okay so question number 53 proboscis gland is an endocrine gland excretory organ feeding organ reproductive organ proboscis gland andre eno so proboscis gland andre it is an example for excretory organ okay endocrine glands are the ductless glands they pour their secretions directly into the blood their secretions are called as the hormones so feeding organ alla reproductive organ kuda alla so it is excretory organ so excretion of any nitrogenous waste in hemichordates which takes place through proboscis gland so this gland collects the waste material nitrogenous waste from the blood and pass into the coelom okay and coelom of the proboscis and where it is excreted through the proboscis pore where it is 
excreted to the proboscis pore at the anterior region of the proboscis at the anterior region of the proboscis so the right option is the excretory organ so proboscis gland will collect the waste from the coelom and from the coelom it uh, is eliminated out through the proboscis pore so blood en maartade ella nitrogenous waste and elli kalistade nitrogenous waste ella blood in the hiri kolthade and it goes to the okay coelom of the proboscis once proboscis is the coelom ge hogi nantara it will excreted out through the pore of the proboscis gland which is present at the anterior region anterior region of the proboscis question number 54 match the animals in column 1 with their common names in column 2 column 1 alli bere bere animals the scientific name kottidare column 2 alli adu yen anta helidara adara names common names kottidare scientific names matte common names an match madu limulus is the king crab or fiura is the brittle star tinea is the tapeworm meandrina is the brain coral dentalium is the tusk shell limulus belongs to arthropoda or fiura belongs to echinodermata tinea belongs to tapeworm that is lateral minthus meandrina is the brain coral belongs to phylum silentirata or nedaria dentalium is the animal uh, elephant tusk shell which belongs to phylum mollusca so all these are matching with what come on which option answer 2 see a4 limulus king crab b5 fiura brittle star c2 tinea tus uh, tapeworm d3 meandrina that is brain coral e1 dentalium it is a tusk shell so limulus king crab and banda kodle you can select option 1 matte 3 2 4 and direct eliminate madabodu matte ಸೆಕೆಂಡಿಗೆ ಹೋಗಿ ಒಫಿಯೂರ ಬ್ರಿಟಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾ ಒಫಿಯೂರ ಒಫಿಯೂರ ಅಂದರೆ ಬ್ರಿಟಲ್ ಬ್ರಿಟಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಬ್ರಿಟಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ ಅಂತ ಗೊತ್ತಾದ ಕೂಡಲೇ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಎಲಿಮಿನೇಟ್ ದ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ತ್ರೀ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರೈಟ್ ಅವೇ ಗೋ ಫಾರ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಟು ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೌ ಯು ಹವ್ ಟು ಕ್ವಿಕ್ಲಿ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ದ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸಿ ಇ ಟಿ ಆರ್ ನೀಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಕ್ಶೀಟ್ ಐ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ and of course uh, few as uh, home assignment questions i'll also give you so question number 55 which of the following set of animals belongs to phylum hemichordata you got a set nal yavudu belongs to phylum hemichordata and one balanoglossus echoglossus two salpadolium three petromyzon mixin four dentalium uh, ketoplura so the right answer is answer one balanoglossus is also called as acorn worm or tongue worm Sacoglossus is also called as the tongue worm. Both belongs to phylum Hemichordata. Okay. So their proboscis, they have characteristic proboscis. Which are having proboscis gland. So which appears like a tongue. Okay. And that's why those balanoglossus as well as sacoglossus are commonly called as tongue. tongue worms and both belongs to phylum hemichordata so one more worksheet we'll solve under animal kingdom that is uh, about chordates then we'll finish that animal kingdom and let me take uh, a new topic so students uh, note down all the important points I, which i written on the board and also take my lecture notes and thank you for watching the video Don't forget to like our video and subscribe our YouTube channel for all